video, psychos! I'll never do that again. Okay, but I am doing a Q&A video. Yes. So, I have 10 questions. A few of them are from the internet. A few of them are from my friends. And the other ones are from internet friends. AKA Tumblr. <laughs> so, as you can think, see, think, whatever. The first few will be normal. The second few will be my personality and the last few will be totally weird. Okay, so first question is, do you always smile for pictures? No, <laughs> I do not always smile for pictures. I will usually do the ironic peace sign or the I'm too fabulous but I don't feel like smiling. Like. You know, I always do the unused face face. I rarely smile for photos. It's actually kind of funny and it really annoys my mom for whenever she wants to take photos of me. Yes. Okay, second question is, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would like to be a tattoo artist, which, because I really like tattoos, I really like how they look, I really like everything about them, and I, I draw little tiny mini tattoos sometimes. And I'm an okay drawer. Okay, number three. The last concert I saw. What was the last concert I saw? I'm actually wearing the shirt. I didn't even mean to. The Fall Out Boy, um, Boys of Summer tour with Wiz Khalifa and Hoodie Allen and all that jazz. I got this shirt there. If you can see it. It was a really amazing concert. I went with my really good friend Taylor. There were the dates. Okay, it was the best concert I've ever went to. Yes. Okay. Four. Favorite clothing store. My personal favorite is Hot Topic because one, I don't feel out of place there. They have my style of clothing too, which is great. Like they have the the big t-shirts for girls, like this. The ones where guys can wear them too, unisex. Those. They also have the bands I like, the fandoms I like. Used to have Shane Dawson, don't have them anymore. Eh. They also have everything, like headphones and book bags, and all that jazz. Shout out to Hot Topic. Yeah, it's an amazing store. Has all my stuff, has bracelets over there. I don't feel like putting them on. Okay, five. This is from a friend. How often do you dye your hair? I dye my hair as soon as the color fades out. So it depends on actually what dye. So this dye will last me about a week because it's kind of crappy. <laughs> no offense to you, Di, I like, I really like the color. It's a pretty teal, you can't really see it. But I have the ombre thing that I bleached myself. So if, whenever this fades, I'm actually planning on dyeing it red, which will probably be in about a week. Um, but other dyes, like my purple dye, that lasts like a month. And my blue dye lasts like a month. And the top of my hair was actually black, if you know, but it said it was temporary. And I had, okay, beforehand I had this beautiful ombre that was amazing. And the black said that it was temporary, so I dyed it black because I just wanted to. I wanted to change up my hairstyle. And it never came out. So I used the hair removal and it didn't really work. So then I just re-bleached it and now it's all fried. But then the bleach wasn't that dark, which sucked. But then I was like, you know what, screw it, just dye it. So, it's dyed now. I'll bleach it, dye it. It hasn't been a normal color since fourth grade, which was about four years ago. Which Fall Out Boy song is my absolute favorite? Well, this is a question that cannot be answered. I'm sorry, friend. Why did you ask me this? You know I can't answer this. So, in instead of just saying my favorite song because I literally do not have a favorite song, they're all my favorites, they're like my, my children. Okay, and Evening Out With Your Girlfriend, my favorite song there is Pretty and Punk. It's a really good song. <laughs> in Take This To Your Grave, my favorite song would, my favorite songs would have to be Grand Theft Autumn, which if you, if you're a Fall Out Boy fan, it's obviously your anthem. Where is your boy tonight? Okay, I'm done. I really love Chicago Is So Two Years Ago. That's a great song too. In From Under the Cork Tree, my favorite songs 
two, two really good songs that always have had a special place in my heart are Our Lawyer Made Us Change the Name of the Song So We Wouldn't Get Sued and I Slept With Someone in Fall Out Boy and All I Got Was a Stupid Song Written About Me. Those are always, I love those songs. Also in that album, A Little Less Sixteen Candles is A+. Plus. Just great A. And I really love the music video. It makes me laugh. And I kind of feel bad for laughing at it. But, I mean, Pete is just a vampire and I can't take it seriously and he's like doing flips in the air while playing bass guitar. And the beginning is my all-time favorite because Pete's like, kill yourself hunters! And Andy goes, well next time you be the bait and ask my parents every single time the music video is playing I will recite every single word and they're like, wow Reagan, you entertain yourself so much with that song. Another song from From Under the Cork Tree that I love is Get Busy Living or Get Busy Dying and it's really catchy. It's amazing and then Patrick screams, he's like, nope, get out. My turn. <laughs> and I love it. It's amazing. A plus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. And obviously Sugar and Sugar We're Going Down and Dance Dance are amazing songs for that album too. They're usually the more popular ones, but but they're, they're good, trust me. From Infinity on High, I really love the song Thriller. Makes me sad. They played it at the concert and I was like actual tears. I was like, it's so beautiful. Long live the car crash tars. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really good song. Hum Hallelujah. Jesus, that song is the death of me. I... It is the death of me. I can't... I love that song so much. If you don't like the Santa scene, it's an arms race. You can just folly it, get away from me. That song is perfection. My mother loves it. My father loves it. My brother and my sister both love it. It's like the best. It's like so satisfyingly amazing. That might be one of my favorite Fall Out Boy songs. Like, top five, definitely in the top five. It is <sighs> so amazing. If I recommend any Fall Out Boy song, I would recommend that song. And if you play Golden near me, I will be in tears. And it is a very sad song, and I'm like, while well, listening to it. Some songs, like that's one of them, I can only listen to in my bedroom, by myself, so I don't cry out in public. Another great song from Infinity on High is Thanks for the Memories. You guys obviously saw this one coming. I mean, it was the song that got me hooked on Fall Out Boy way back when. And it is just, oh, did you see that double chin action? <laughs> it is just A plus, best, great song, 11 out of 10. I can get emotional while listening to it, but I can't tell if, if it's, it's like a happy anger. It's like you're happy and you're angry, but you're also sad at the same time. It's like, that song is a true emotion song. You can listen to that whenever and you'll be like, One night and one more time. Or, One night and one more time. Or, um, what's it? <laughs> one night and one more time. It's literally the best, no. I say the best for a lot of things, an A plus and 11 out of 10. But that's how I describe all these Fall Out Boy songs because they are my favorites. And I have no clue what the words to the song is, are, whatever. <laughs> but Bang the Dole Drums is amazing. Like, ye a yellow chicken calls. Is that really the lyrics? That's what I think it is. A yellow chicken calls. <laughs> I don't know. You're a I don't know the lyrics to that song. I, I just assume. <laughs> That's one of the songs I just assume. Next album is Folly Ado. Folly Ado is by far my favorite album, if you know me. That song, that, that song, that album gives me heart attacks, heart palpitations, palpitations, is that a word? Disloyal Order of Water Buffaloes, What a Catch, Donnie, and Lullaby, they will all make me full on sob. I, those are the songs that I can't listen to in public. If my family's cleaning, they'll sometimes allow me to listen to music. If What a Catch, Johnny comes on, you will see me full on sprint. <laughs> way over to the mouse and keyboard and I'll be like screw you and hit the next song and then I'll probably be in tears by that time. It's a sad song. 
They're all sad songs. They make me cry. They are amazing, but not good at the same time. I hate them, but I love them. If you understand me, I like you. $20 Nosebleed and Head First Slide into Cooperstown on a Bad Bet. Those are amazing songs. Head First Slide into Cooperstown on a Bad Bet was actually my number one favorite song for a while. As in like a week. <sighs> um, whenever I first heard it, I was like, and it was my favorite song then. The head first slide in the Cooperstown was stuck in my head the entire time of the beach, and my friend was probably like, Reagan, what are you doing? Can you please stop? Mr. Sad Man showing his beam when he walks into the room, the walls learning to listen. Stop. And $20 Nosebleed. I know. That is such an amazing song. That is also one of my top songs, top five. Um. I get so happy listening to it. It's like, no matter what mood I'm in, that song can make me happy. And I love it. And Brendan Urie and Patrick Stump synchron synchronizing is like... <laughs> I Don't Care is like... my theme song. Um, I- my favorite lyric in that entire- well, I have a lot of favorite lyrics in that song. But I really love, in the acoustic version, Start it over again in Mexico. It sounds- so amazing and so perfect, and Patrick, yes, and I love free love on the streets, but in the alley, it ain't that cheap. Love that lyric. And I love sweat it up, shut your mouth. Free love on the streets, but in the alley, it ain't that cheap now. Just, it's an amazing song. I recommend it to everyone. That'll also be actually my top five favorite songs. America's Sweethearts. I have a very, I really like this song. It's like, the second love of my life. My friends and I are actually going to be America's Sweethearts, as in Dr. Ben's a Dream, which would be me, Mr. Sandman, which would be my friend Taylor, Donnie the Catcher, which will be my friend Chloe, and the luckiest man, H. Shoe Crab, which will be my friend Hannah. Um, we'll all, all cosplay them for Halloween, and it'll be really amazing, and then we'll just blast Folly Ado the entire time we're trick-or-treating, and everyone will be like, Folly Ado. West Coast Smoker is amazing. I love those lyrics. It's perfection. The beat is amazing. The vocals. Everything is awesome in West Coast Smoker. Oh, and instead of finding a heartbeat, you will find the beginning, the little drum solo of Coffees for Closers in my heart. That's that's my heartbeat. And Pavlov. I love Pavlov. It's like a little extra in the album. The amazing. Just A+, plus, 11 out of 10. You get a five golden stars. It is really a truly great song. Believers Never Die. Yeah, they only put out like two new songs in that album, but my Jesus Alpha Dog is like, praise the Lord, and how low or deep or whatever Patrick's vocals go, it's like, <laughs> in Save Rock and Roll, the song most of my friends know is The Phoenix. It's like one of those songs that if you're new to Fall Out Boy, you instantly know this song. Other than like, Thanks for the Memories and Centuries. Um, it's the only songs a few of my friends know, so I sing it a lot with them. To be like, yeah, I fit in with you guys. <laughs> What's Hum Hallelujah? <laughs> That song, seriously, is a great song. It's the bomb.com. It's my mom's favorite song. Where Did the Party Go is truly 11 out of 10. I mean, the bass in that song is so amazing. I set it as my alarm clock like a, like a year and a half ago, and it's been my alarm clock for like a year straight. I finally changed it to Arctic Monkeys. Do I want to know? And it's still that. I come to peace with that song. Rat-a-tat is my battle song. I mean... You could, if I listen to that 24-7 while playing any sport, I will be the best at that sport. If you send me into battle and say, you know what, fight them, but you can listen to Ratatat while doing it, I will murder 50 people before I even get a scratch. It is so energetic and pumping and I love it. Did I say the album Save Rock and Roll? Well, starting at the Phoenix, it was Save Rock and Roll, so. Young Volcanoes is an amazing song, but it's like so calm and happy and snappy and you're like 
But then you watch the music video, I'm like, Andy, Pete, and Joe are just all eating Patrick's intestines while people are dancing around naked, and they're doing drugs, and you're like, art. Save rock and roll is pretty cool too, I mean, it's natural to like save rock and roll. Even though it really isn't a rock and roll song. Save rock and roll with a non-rock and roll song, that, that's cool. Okay, finally, American Beauty, American Psycho. First of all, whenever I first heard the album, I did not like Uma Thurman, really at all. I actually, my grandma is very weird, and she said, you know what, I wanna be called Uma. That was the only reason I liked the song, because she was actually coming over like the next weekend, and I was like, Uma, listen to the song. And she was, and she was like, she wants to dance like Uma Thurman. And she was like, it's another song written about me, oh my gosh. They started playing it on the radio and it slowly grew more and more and more on me until I really like it. And I really do like it now. The entire album's actually grown on me. At first I was like, do I really like this album? Eh, I only like like one or two songs. After listening to it for like about a month, I was like, I can dig it. And then a mo another month, it was like, this is a power album, yes. And I actually do really like it now. American Beauty, American Psycho is actually my favorite song from that album. So, yeah, I mean, it's really energetic and pumping. Pumping, it kind of sounds wrong. But, you know, fist pumping. There we go. And at the concert, I was like spasming out and jumping and it was amazing and energetic and fun. And I really love that song. Navicane was my favorite song from that album for a little, for a little bit. But then it, it was just like kicked out by the by American Beauty, American Psycho. So yeah, Navicane is a really amazing song too. Twin Skeletons. Twin Skeletons was my favorite song whenever the album very first came out. Like I was sitting there and I was checking Fall Out Boy's um, YouTube <laughs> for some reason, and it was like two minutes ago. And then the entire set of videos, well, they were continuously uploading, but you know, the videos were there. And Twin Skeletons was the first one, I believe. And I listened to it and I was like, yeah, I really love this song. And that was my favorite song for quite a while from that album. And it was a good song. <laughs> it still is a good song. Really like it. Really recommend it. Finally, one of my favorite songs from Fall Out Boy is my song, No, You Didn't Know you're probably like, Reagan, that's from the album Save Rock and Roll, why are you bringing it up now? No, not that one. I really like the demo version, which completely different lyrics, completely different beat, completely different style. It was pre-hiatus, actually, that they recorded it, but it was never officially onto a, an album or anything, and it's My Songs Know What You Did In The Dark demo. It is so amazing, I really love it. That has got to be on my top five, too. So. There are all my Fall Out Boy things. That's all my songs I like by Fall Out That question only took 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay, next question. This question is from my very good friend, and it says, Why do you like Fall Out Boy so much? Really good singer, really good bass guitar player, really good guitar player, and really good drummer. And they're all short. <laughs> and they're all A+. Plus. That, that, that's why. And okay, now we're on to our Tumblr questions. These are gonna be weird. What is your sexuality? Okay guys, time to come out. I am fansexual. Or maybe just, what's your sexuality? Fall Out Boy. That might work too. Hey, what do I do in my spare time? I listen to music, I draw, I read, I watch YouTube, I play video games, I procrastinate, I do not do my homework, I don't do anything productive, I just do fun things. I don't go outside. Um, if I have hot cash from Hot Topic where I can get money, if I have any extra hot cash, I'll most likely go to Hot Topic because I go there like once a month. It's like an annual thing. And final question, do I like llamas? Of course. So thank you guys for watching my video. Um, I love y'all. Uh, 
You're cool. Chill, people. Later, skaters.